coming from Malta, I must immediately extend a word of gratitude uh, to all of you, in particular to the touching references you have made played to Daphne Caruana Galizia. <laughs> and even your suggestion to take up further initiatives in her honor, in my opinion, is very relevant. Because as I had already occasion to state within the European Parliament recently, I think it is our duty to ensure that whoever was responsible to bury an investigative journalist like Daphne Caruana Galizia will not succeed to bury the investigative stories that she was working upon. And in this respect, the setting up now of the Daphne project, made up of as many as 45 journalists from around the world representing 18 media houses, who we know are again probing into all the leads that Daphne was working upon, is certainly of great encouragement uh, even to the people of Malta because my favorite, and well, not just a question of favorite, but my legal definition of freedom of expression, it is not only the freedom of expression of the journalist who in this case has been silenced, but freedom of expression is the freedom of expression of a whole society because freedom of expression is defined in the Convention on Human Rights or in the European Charter of Human Rights not only as the right to impart information, but also as the right to receive information. And that is why the protection of journalists all around the world is certainly uh, of great interest to all of us. And, of course, it distresses me as a person from Malta, as a Maltese person, to see even in the map produced by Reporters Without Frontiers to see Malta now classified with the difficult countries' areas. If I had to look at what has even been evolving over the past days, I am certainly not surprised about the loss of our ranking because I share with you a recent uh, copy here of the Times of Malta, where the Prime Minister of Malta states, the best reply that we shall give to Daphne Project will be on May the 1st. I encourage and urge Labour supporters, I am quoting verbatim from the words of the Prime Minister, to attend May Day celebrations. This will be our response. So it is a kind of let us do a major demonstration, a major mass meeting, bigger than usual, as though that can have somehow a magic wand and somehow tone down and uh, remove everything that Daphne was working upon and now the Daphne project was working upon. The Minister of Education, whose uh, remit it is to protect the journalists, he suggests that the International News Consortium wants to damage the ruling party of Malta. Minister Cardona says that the Daphne Project journalists are trying to create a frame-up against them. Kurt Farouja, who is a communications coordinator in the office of the Prime Minister, he tells a major news organization in Malta, quote us directly, don't stay repeating tweets. And the newsbook responds and says, we will not be intimidated. So that is the situation, and this is the situation where I think only days away from World Press Freedom Day, we need to act collectively. And I fully endorse and welcome what you said at the end. Let us not wait until it is too late. Let us act immediately. In some respects, we have already a major voice silenced. But we are not late in ensuring that everything that was being worked upon will prevail through other journalists, and that society will remain informed, but a difficult situation needs constant monitoring and needs all the tools that you refer to by way of extending support and help to investigative journalists.